Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install Android 9.0 on Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. So let's do it. Before starting this video, if you're facing any problem regarding this tutorial, you can also visit my website. That is right here pcmac.biz and I have updated the document here. You can go through the document and that will help you in installing this image onto your Raspberry Pi 4. Now first of all let me just take you to Consta Kang website and if you want to follow this tutorial from Consta Kang you can also do that. You need to navigate to Raspberry Pi 4 and then you need to download the image from here. I already downloaded the image and insert the SD card. Let's go ahead and format the SD card using SD card formatter. Now let's go ahead and open Archer to write the image. Select the image. It's right here. Lineage OS. Lineage 16.0. Let's go ahead and open it. And select target. The target is a 16 GB card right here. Click on continue and flash the SD card. It will take a moment to flash the image to the SD card. I'll be back. Now the card is successfully flashed so let's just go ahead and close it and uh, cancel it from here. Eject the SD card and connect it to my Raspberry Pi 4 and check the booting process of our Raspberry Pi. Now we are here on our computer screen so let's just go ahead and open the Google Chrome and uh, then open G Apps website. and open G apps project our system is arm and uh, that the version of Android that we are using is 9.0 and from here we need to download the Pico images the bay minimum images as you can see let's just click on download to download this it will take some time uh, around 100 MB of image that we are downloading we need to follow these steps on our Raspberry Pi and download this image to our internal storage. I also show you this step on the Raspberry Pi. If 32-bit version is not working, I'll try to download the 64-bit version as well. Now let's move ahead and switch the screen to our phone camera so we can record the Android booting screen. Now the card is successfully connected to the Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now the booting process starts successfully. As you can see, it will take some time. Let it be and uh, I'll be back. Now the system is start booting. You see the Lineage OS logo and it's right here. Let's go ahead and click on next to start the process. Uh, I have forgot to connect the keyboard and mouse. Let me just do that. So I'm using a wireless keyboard and mouse. And uh, as you can see, the mouse is detected successfully. Let's go ahead and click on next to configure. And the language is English United States. You can set the time zone right now or if you want, you can do it later. Let's just do that. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 2GB version. So my time zone is right here, Kolkata. And click on next. Next. Skip this process and start. So the performance will be much better in the other Raspberry Pi 4 port which have 4GB of RAM mine is on 2 GB so let's just check that everything is working or not so try to open pcmag.biz let's search it here so it's working now and here is the document you can go through the document from the website as well now let's just go ahead and go back. You can use the mouse cursor to move the screen to the right and left section of this operating system. 
from here you can move to settings and you can see all the settings here and from here you can see about tablet it's raspberry pi 4 and if you want to donate to consta kang you can donate it from here as well let's just click on android version and check it's 9 android version 9 click on ok now let's just go ahead and try to install the g apps on this version for that we need to click on build number let's just move down uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 times and you can enable development settings now just go back and from here we need to go into system advance and then developer option now from here what we need to do is we need to enable the root access let's go ahead and enable it apps and adb press the space bar to enable it so it's enabled now And let's just go ahead and enable the local terminal as well. Now we can use the keys like press and hold the F5 to restart the system. Let's go ahead and restart the machine now. It will take some time, so I'll be back. Now we are here on the main screen. Uh, the thing that we need to do here is we need to download the terminal app from the internet because it's not enabled here so either you can go here and then download the terminal app or you can download it on your computer and put it into a flash drive and then you can install it here so I'm just using google to download the terminal apk now we will use apkmirror.com to download the apk for terminal and it's right here let's go ahead and download the apk so the apk successfully downloaded after downloading terminal what we need to do is we need to download the g apps for that let's just click here and type g apps and hit enter Let's go ahead and open open G apps. Let's select ARM. ARM64 and the version is 9. Let's move down and select Pico. Now as we have selected Pico for ARM64 9.0, let's go ahead and click on download to download these packages. Let's click on download. download should begin and uh, as you can see it's right here uh, it's downloading the size is around 100 mb so it might take some time depending upon the speed this will don't have a file explorer so what i did i downloaded a es file explorer here let's go ahead and install it You will find link to these applications in the document so you can visit the document and download all these applications directly. I am showing you from all the websites. I will leave the links in the website so you can go ahead and download all the applications. Let's just go ahead and open it and we can see all the application that we have downloaded. Let's just click on agree and allow. Now let's check the download folder and here we have all the downloaded applications. Let's just go ahead and install our terminal first of all. Install. And we need to go into settings to allow the unknown apps. And allow it. 
go back from the top left corner and then install once the terminal installed let's just go ahead and open it and from here we just need to type two commands that is first one is to access super user the command is su and then the application will always ask your permission to allow let's go ahead and click on allow now we need to type raspberry pi that is rpi4 minus we need to boot into recovery then dot sh and hit enter so this is done now we need to reboot and that will take us to the recovery console of our android pi now the system is booting up into the recovery console you will see the next screen of recovery console now as we have downloaded both the images for uh, Pico, the 64-bit version and the 86-bit version as well. Now let's select the 86 version and select swipe to confirm and then let's check whether it's able to install it or not. So you can see installing Core G apps. It will take some time so I'll be back. Now the system is successfully updated. Let's just go back or wipe Dalvik and just swipe to wipe then go back go back one more time now what we need to do is we need to click on wipe and swipe to factory reset just go back one more step from the top left corner and then we need to go into mount and we need to mount the boot as well then go back one more step click on advance then terminal and here we need to type again rpi4 the version that we are using then recovery dot sh space boot hit enter and then we need to reboot our machine now the machine will start rebooting and it will take us directly to our setup process because we have already updated our G apps to our Android 9.0. So the system started successfully and you can see it asks us for uh, copy paste and copy the data from the old phone to the new one. So let's just click on don't copy and it will take us to the next step. This is not the official image so that's why you might see these options. So just ignore them and uh, click on accept. and move forward not now skip anyway then again the same steps lineage steps and now we are here on the screen on our main screen with play store available for us so we can log in here and we can download any app by signing it to our play store option now just go back as you can see google play re service require an action let's just click ok you can just click on clear all to clear all these notifications and that's it So guys that's it from our end if you like my work please go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want you can also support us on patreon.com share this video with your family and friends and if you have any questions any problems regarding this tutorial you can always ask me on my telegram chat or you can comment in the comment section right down below thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day